Brown. Welcome to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. Well, this episode, I want to focus on an application for the iPad and iPhone. It's called Pencil Camera. Now, if you're really into those applications that create these cool filter effects, uh, particularly the filter effects that resemble pencil sketches or watercolors, this is the perfect app for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some screenshots or some video screen capture of this application in action so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and actually um, pull this up on, on uh, Reflection. It was the application for your, your PC or, or Mac in this case so that I can show this image on my computer and I'm then going to record it so that I can feature it in the video along with myself. So I'm going to just going to go ahead here and I have Camtasia open so I'm going to go ahead and do a new uh, screen recording and now I'm going to go ahead and open up Reflection. And now on my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and sync with Reflection via, wire, via my wireless network so that I can mirror it on the screen. Okay, we're set. Now this is what the application looks like when you first open it. Immediately you're going to have the camera facing, the back camera open so that you can videotape or shoot photos with the application. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into my photo library and you do that by tapping on the folder in the top left. And I'm going to go to one of my Rome pictures and import a picture of my wife into the project. And so you'll see right away that there's an image that looks like a nice cool watercolor pencil sketch. It's called watercolors. And you'll see on the right hand side that you can control the brightness, the contrast, as well as the line quality of the drawing. I almost don't want to do anything. It's so beautiful already. Uh, the, the effects are amazing with this application, as you can see. But I'm going to go ahead and try fooling around with the lightness here and see if you notice any difference. Okay, so that just lightened up the picture quite a bit. I'm going to take it back the other way, kind of darken it. So that darkens the hues, gives it a different kind of look, but it gives you that kind of flexibility. Same thing with contrast and line quality. So you can actually use the line tool to either darken the lines or make the lines heavier or go in the other direction and make the lines lighter so you have more of a, a delicate kind of a look. So you have those controls on the right. And let's go through some of the different filters in effect, so you can see all the things you can do with this very cool application. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and pan through all the different options by clicking on the arrow keys so that you can see the different filters. So this is watercolors. This is life on Mars. Pink glasses. Dirty sketch. Frozen. crayon matic rumple paper, soft pencil, wooden floor, hipster culture. This is actually one of my favorites. And again, whenever you pull up one of these filters, you can use the sliders to control the brightness, the contrast, the opacity, and so forth. And it really does give you an, enough of a range where you can really produce an awesome effect with this application. So that's hipster culture. This is black pencil. This is canvas. So you can see a little bit of the canvas texture coming through. And again, you can fool around with the sliders to adjust the quality of the colors and so forth. I'm going to try and make it a little brighter. Or maybe I'll make it actually a little darker. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, that's canvas. This is oil paint. 
jungle. I like jungle too because it gives you this sort of randomization of the way the colors are displaced. Marble. I really like marble too. It's really cool. And this is where you want to go into and control the contrast and the color depending on whether you want to be more monochromatic or you want to bring out the colors a little bit more. Again, each filter is different and then we're back to watercolors. So you can see this is a beautiful, beautiful application. This is just with a photo that I imported into the application. But what's really nice is that you can actually shoot video with the iPad as well, or you can import video into your project. Or you, you can use the front-facing camera or rear-facing camera, uh, all of which can be manipulated with all these different filters. So for example, if you wanted to use a front-facing camera, you would have to hit the icon where there's a little icon of a person. Now that's the icon for the front-facing camera. So you can see I'm barely showing up here. I'm going to tilt it a little bit so you can get a better picture of me. And this is me with the green screen in the background. So I'm actually recording myself with the green screen. But you kind of get the idea of what this looks like when using the front-facing camera. If you want to take a picture, you would hit the bottom icon on the right that looks like a, a circle that's been cut up. Hit that and it immediately takes a photo of you. It immediately sends it to the photo library. If I wanted to record myself using the front facing camera, I just place record and now I'm recording myself using the front facing camera. Pretty cool. And when you're done, you see the timer is rotating so you know I'm recording. Just hit the button again to stop. And guess what happens? That video goes automatically to your library. You notice there's no rendering time. It's already in my library that fast. I'm going to go ahead and import a photo back into my project again. So you get the idea. Now let me go ahead and hit on the question mark so you can see how this application operates. One, it's Pencil Camera HD. It was just produced in 2002, developed by Lucas Genzi, graphics by Martin Vasatko. I hope I'm pronouncing their names right. I think combined, they have, they have produced a very handsome application. Uh, you have a slideshow feature that's on the top right. When you press that icon, it basically has three tiles overlapping one another. It will just randomly play a slideshow of the photos in your library. Uh, next to that is how you import your photos into your project, which I did earlier. Uh, again, below that you have the, the icon of a person, that's the front-facing camera. The icon of a landscape is the back-facing or rear-facing camera. And then below that you have the adjustment tools for brightness, contrast, contour, or line quality. You have your recording time and then your buttons for recording and saving your videos and or photos. The arrows on the bottom left, again, are for advancing through all the different filter options that are available. So as you can see, Pencil Camera is awesome. It works on the iPad and iPhone and it's only $1.99. What a steal. I mean, when you get an application like this that's well designed, that gives you a quality product, for $1.99, you really can't beat it. You really should support these guys. They also have a Facebook page. I would check it out. Give them, the, give them your support. They really deserve it. There are a lot of good reviews in iTunes as well. Uh, there's one criticism, and this is very, very small. This doesn't even deserve a four-star review. I mean, it, it deserves five stars either way. But you cannot rotate the application while it's in landscape mode. So right now it's in landscape mode, but if I was to turn it this way, it will not rotate. It will just stay in that same position. I'm sorry, I just hit, just hit Siri button there. It'll just stay in that same position and it won't rotate. It's a little irritating to me only because I like my home button on the left hand side rather than the right hand side. I wonder whoever developed this if they were left handed. Who knows? Um, so minor is not even worth mentioning. Uh, but I most certainly would make me happy if they made that minor improvement. But overall the app gets five stars from me. Check it out in the App Store to $1.99. Thanks again for tuning in for another episode of my Apple Podcast. My name is Tim. Check me out next time.